hello friends today in this tutorial i will basically show you that uh, i built out a nextjs timeline video editor where you can basically cut your videos crop your videos or compress your videos to smaller size so basically you can see that this is the application that i developed and uh, in nextjs using ffmpg webassembly library in the browser so you can see I'm running this application on localhost 3000 and there is a button out there select video or you can also drag and drop your source video that you want to edit. So once you select your video guys, so let's suppose I'm selecting this video which is 7 minutes and 30 seconds long which is 78 megabytes. So you can see the original size of the video. If I hover onto this, it is 78 megabytes and now if I want to edit this video so this will uh, be a timeline editor guys basically uh, here you can so uh, edit your video let's zoom here the volume so that you can even the hear PDF. the audio of the video as well so there will be this player out there and you, here you can clip out the portion whichever portion that you don't want so there are various timelines available you can see that as well it guys is totally in all, almost all video editors so you can even build out this functionality you can see that so if you clip out individual sections in the video if you don't want this you can see that you can do this well, let, let me select my pdf document bottom side, let me select the sample the starting one. duration click on submit and now guys clip. you will see that and now if you want to various options are there in the right hand side this is our actual title of the video and the drop down and here you can compress the original size of the video if you want to compress to 8 MB which is suitable if you want to send this video using email if you want to send this video using whatsapp 16 MB will be pretty much and then 25 MB for discord so various social networks are there you can select and then standard resolution HD resolution and best quality if you want to upload it to YouTube or animated images or online video distribution and if you want to convert this into GIF you can even do that also. Let's suppose I want to compress this video from 78 megabytes to 8 megabytes. So there is also this quality for the audio as well. You can even remove the audio as well by selecting no audio. You, the audio will be re removed from the video if you select that. You can even lower the quality of the audio as well. You can select this and it, it is saying that video too long for this quality because video is very long. So if I select 16 megabytes, so this will be suitable. If I click start, you will now see a progress bar animation will take place guys. So it is processing it and it is do, doing its job in the background FFMPG WebAssembly library. So it also has a progress bar which is suitable for the user so that it will tell the user whenever it is completed whenever it reaches 100% so your video will be compressed from 76 megabytes which was the original size of the video that I showed you in the previous step so it will be compressed to 16 megabytes so that you can send your video in whatsapp or email so it is all happening in the browser guys we are not using any sort of special software video editor so if you need this application guys the full source code is given in the description of the video and you can uh, buy this application uh, you can go to paypal and make the payment in united states dollar or you can go to stripe and make the payment in indian rupees so both the payment links are given in the description of the video and after you make the payment you will actually get a zip file from google drive and you can unzip this google uh, drive file and uh, here you will basically get your project and inside your package.json file you will see that we are actually using Next.js application and we are use, actually using the FFMPG WebAssembly module, the core library, all these packages. So this will be the directory structure, all these components I have written from my full hard work and dedication. This is a complete project. I am running this project on, uh, you can see, I am running it on localhost 3000. So once it's completed, reaches to 90%, it will automatically download. So it totally depends upon the length of the video, guys. The limit is endless. You can upload 10 GB 
20 GB, 100 GB video as well. Uh, hello guys, today in this tutorial, I will basically show you a application you that I developed in Angular. Enter is the PDF structure. Comment the social player. You the watermark to all the there pages. Will be a download option. If you see in the bottom side, save video, which is 10 mega 10 megabytes. So the original size was uh, 76 megabytes, guys. And uh, now this modified. Uh, hello guys. So we are using manner. Rotate. This is very useful, guys. If you want to transfer this video with the, if you want to share this video with anyone, the quality is compromised a little bit, but still the video looks good. So you can see the content in the video. It is not that all the content of the video is blurry. You can still see the video, but it is reduced from 76 to 10 megabytes. So it is very useful whenever you have a very slow internet connection. If you don't have enough data in that scenario, you can compress your video file. And now let me show you some more functionalities here. Let's suppose if you want to. Uh, hello guys, change the aspect ratio of the particular video. So. If you want to upload it to YouTube, the aspect ratio is 16 by 9 by the default aspect ratio. If you want to convert to 4 by 3, 3 by 4 or 9 by 16. So this is really useful if you want to uh, upload this video to Instagram guys. So this is, you can easily change the aspect ratio of a particular video by using this uh, 9 by 16, 3 by 4, 4 by 3, 16 by 9. So this makes it very much easy. Let me choose a file which is not large. Let me choose this file. You can see that this is the actual video file uh, or you can see it is selected 4 by 3. You can even crop this video by using this. So this is already built it inside this video editor. You can easily crop the portion that the video that you want by using these controls out there. Just crop the video like this. We can easily do this. So just using these controls, using the mouse, you can simply crop the portion, whatever portion that you want in the video. And then you can click, uh, let's suppose HD resolution. This time I select and click on and I remove the audio, no audio, click on start. So now basically the, remo uh, the audio will be removed from the video and uh, I have successfully cropped the video and also changed the aspect aspect ratio as well. So now the processing has taken place guys. It is I'm just showing you all the scenarios so that you will see it is a real application and you can do all sort of stuff. You can crop the video, compress it and uh, also it's a fully time it's a fully uh, fleshed video editor in the browser using uh, Next.js and FFmpg WebAssembly library. So you can now see it is successfully cropped to the, to the section. So now the video is a little bit larger in the quality size as well. You will see that click on the video is reduced to one me megabyte. You can see that one megabyte the video. If I play this video now, you will see that. So, so the video is somewhat cropped because we cropped the portion, whatever portion that we wanted, we just cropped it using the mouse and you can see that. So it looks good. So this is the actual application guys. If you are interested, the links are given, the payment links are given. You can buy this application. You can also deploy this application on your own personal website as well and put advertisements so that you can allow the users to carry out the video processing and in the meantime you can even earn revenue as well by putting advertisements such as Google Adsense or Ezoic any ad. So you can convert to 9 by 16, 16 by 9, 4 by 3 or you can select your own custom ratio as well so in this way. And I just showed you how to crop the videos by selecting these controllers. So you can select whatever portion that you want by using these controllers. You can see now we have successfully cropped this. So if you only want to crop this portion, you can now see the processing will take really quickly because there was just, you can see the video is successfully trimmed, cut only five seconds. So I successfully trimmed or cut the actual five seconds from the video. 
so size as you can see it is reduced to 459 kb so it's a fully fleshed editor guys you can even cut compress or change the aspect ratio of a particular video in next years using ffmpg webassembly library so please hit that like button subscribe the channel if you are interested both the payment links are given in the description of the video to get the source code of this application